found out there may have been recent financial strain on this family and we're also learning more about the youngest victim and her love for singing. It's tragic. I mean, uh, we, we see this too much and too often. A holiday tragedy in Dover. Authorities say all three members of the Kamal family were found dead in their estate on Wilson's Way. 18-year-old Aria, her mother, 54-year-old Tina, and father, 57-year-old Rick. A gun found at the apparent murder-suicide scene. I don't know who was registered to it this time. That's part of the ongoing investigation, and I will not tell you at this time where it was found, but, but uh, it was was found, I guess I would say it was found near the, the husband. I'll just leave it at that. Hello everyone and welcome back to another True Crime Society. I'm your host Rick. Today we're going to be diving into a recent chilling and tragic case that made headlines. The Kamal family. Once living a life of luxury became the center of a heartbreaking story when an eviction led to a horrifying act of violence. Now in this shocking turn of events, the husband, faced with losing their mansion, took the lives of his wife and his daughter. Join me as I unravel the details of this devastating crime and explore the lives forever altered by this tragedy. Curious about what lurks in the shadows? Let's shine a light on the most chilling mysteries. Welcome to True Crime Society, where we dig deep into the most gripping stories of crime and intrigue. Each episode we unravel tales that will keep you on the edge of your seat. From unsolved mysteries to infamous cases, imagine stepping into the mind of a criminal, understanding their motives, and uncovering the hidden clues that others missed. Whether it's a cold case that has haunted communities for decades or a shocking crime that made headlines, we've got it all. So if you have a thirst for the truth and a love for thrilling tales, hit that subscribe button. Join us as we dive into the dark side with True Crime Society. Are you ready to face the unknown? The Camels were known as relatively private people. Before moving to Dover, the family lived in a five-bedroom in Marlborough. Neighbours there said the Camels were polite, but did not meaningfully engage with them. A woman who lived next to them for about 20 years told the Globe that she didn't know the family had a daughter. Tina was a well-liked, incredibly active volunteer for the Red Cross. She was named to the board of directors of its Massachusetts region in 2022 and was part of a group recognized for donating $10,000 or more annually, according to The Globe. Tina also was active at Milton Academy, where Ariana went to school. She was president of the Upper School Parents Association for two years. Tina did it all, Sanya Etienne Duppy, Tina's vice president, told The Globe, you name it, she was involved. Ariana, meanwhile, was a young woman with a passion for music who began attending Middlebury College of the Milton Academy. She performed in a choir at Middlebury, where she met her boyfriend. They read poetry together and shared song recommendations. A close friend of Ariana's at Milton Academy definitely told the Globe that there was no indication from her recently that anything was wrong with her home life. Rick Camel was a man who once embodied the success that many in his community aspired to. Rick built a career earning a reputation as a shrewd businessman and dedicated professional. His achievements allowed him to provide a life of luxury for his family, including a grand home in one of the most prestigious neighborhoods. Despite his outward success, Rick faced mounting financial difficulties in the years leading up to the tragedy. The pressures of maintaining his lifestyle amidst growing debt began to take a toll on him. Friends and acquaintances described Rick as a private man who was increasingly withdrawn noting that he had become more distant as the financial strain worsened. As the head of the Camel household, Rick was seen as a dedicated family man, though there were signs that the stress of their situation was affecting him deeply. The foreclosure of their home was a significant blow, 
symbolizing the collapse of the life he had worked so hard to build. The tragic events that followed were a shocking departure from the man his family and community thought they knew, leaving behind questions about what could have driven him to such a desperate act. On December 28th of 2023, a tragic incident occurred in the affluent neighborhood of Dover when Rick Camel, a once respected businessman, fatally shot his wife, Tina, and their teenage daughter, Ariana, inside their family home. The horrific event unfolded as the Camel family was facing imminent eviction from their mansion due to financial difficulties. According to reports, Rick Camel, overwhelmed by the pressures of losing his home and livelihood, turned a gun on his family in a moment of despair. Law enforcement arrived at the scene through a distress call, discovering the bodies of the victims and the body of Rick Camel. The case has left the community in shock, raising questions about what led a seemingly successful man to commit such a tragic act against his own family. Days before Rick Camel killed his Dover family, his wife's life insurance policy was changed to Rick Camel's brother, becoming the beneficiary on Tina Camel's $1.2 million policy less than a week before the murder-suicide. Tina Camel and her teenage daughter, Ariana, were shot dead in December by her husband, Rakish Camel, who then turned the gun on himself, the Boston Globe reported. The fax, which was sent to Genworth, a life insurance company in Virginia on the afternoon of Christmas Eve, added Rakish Camel's brother, Manoj Camel, as the contingent beneficiary to her policy in the event of Tina Camel's death, the Globe reported. Before the change, the primary beneficiary had been Tina Camel's husband of more than three decades, Rakish Camel, also known as Rick. The backup, or contingent, beneficiary was her teenage daughter, Ariana Camel, The Globe reported. It's incredibly unsettling to think about what led to such a drastic and tragic outcome. The Kamal family's case highlights how pressure and desperation can sometimes drive individuals to make unimaginable decisions. It's crazy, like, I'm sure that the daughter and the mother would have given up all of that wealth to still be alive. And tell me what you think. I really, I really am genuinely wondering what my audience would think about this, um, this act. Do you think of it as, uh, I mean, you have to think of it as heinous as I do. It's a stark reminder of the importance of addressing mental health and support systems, especially when it comes to high stress situations. Four days after that fax arrived, on December 28, 2023, authorities said Rick Camel, 57, Tina Camel, 54, and their 18-year-old daughter, Ariana Camel, were found dead in their Dover mansion from an apparent murder-suicide. Since their deaths, a court battle has started over Tina Camel's life insurance payout, with Rick and Tina Camel's families at opposing ends, as the couple's troubled finances wind through probate court, the Globe reported. Unbeknownst to even his immediate family, Rick Camel had amassed massive debt in the years leading up to the murder-suicide. From the mortgage on their $4 million house, to six-figure loans from a family member, to a slew of ill-fated business deals involving associates in the Boston area and beyond, the Globe reported. After the Camel's deaths, Rick's brother, Manoj Camel, filed a claim to collect the payout from Tina Camel's policy, the Globe reported. Tina's brother, Sandeep Bedi, who is administering her estate, also contacted the life insurance company with concerns about the circumstances of the deaths and the change of beneficiary form. 
I've always been interested in classical singing. The college sending a notice to students saying in part, she loved singing and was interested in going to Italy with a college opera group. She was connected and engaged in class and passionate about everything she did. Meantime, the DA says there were never any 911 calls from the Kamal home, no apparent problems or domestic violence issues. Neighbors here left stunned by the sudden loss. The saddest part is when people take a, you know, a permanent solution to a temporary problem. All right, my peoples. As we close the chapter on the Kamal family's devastating story, it's essential to remember the profound impact such tragedies have. While we, um, while we may never fully understand what drove this act of violence from this father, we can reflect on the importance of empathy and support those who are in distress in our lives. So just keep an eye out on people that are close to you. And yeah, try to have empathy on what their stresses are and what they're going through. You know, point them in the right direction. If you're if you're in a good place, I would encourage you to point them in the, the right direction to get help. This is really crazy. All of these family murders we're having. If you found this case compelling and as heart wrenching as I did, I would love it if you gave it a like because it really helps my channel grow. And I really appreciate all of you who tuned back in. This is so important to me to grow this channel, to get these cases out. I know my quality of my videos may not be the best like everyone else's, but I'm just starting, so give me time. Just be patient with me. And also, if you're new to the channel, I do more cases like this every week and would love it if you subscribed. It's time to shed light on the important and often overlooked aspects of true crime. So until next time, stay safe, stay curious, and be kind to one another. And I hope to see you on the next episode.